Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard and we've been looking at different ways that Albertans are consuming foods produced closer to home. This is good for our economy, but also a great way to save energy and help reduce global warming. Some people are learning to grow their own foods right in the city. Some restaurateurs are putting together special menus that feature regional foods. Now let's meet a grower and the buyer for a large supermarket chain who want to ensure that you can find regional foods every time you go into the grocery store. I'm Dietrich Kuhlman. I am the senior partner in Kuhlman's Market Gardens and Greenhouses Limited. Kuhlman's Market Gardens and Greenhouses Limited is a family farm corporation. My wife and I started in 1962, year after we got married. We were both city slickers. I think the neighbors had a real good laugh about us when we started. Today I think we have about a three-acre greenhouse here in Garden Centre and uh, we still grow uh, 150 acres of various vegetables. We started growing wholesale vegetables after we became successful with the piquillon and so on. And for about 15-20 uh, years we, uh, we grew a lot of uh, wholesale vegetables that ended out in stores and so on. And then came a time where um, Marketing was becoming a lot more difficult because um, the, the wholesalers were consolidating their buying offices uh, from every city in Western Canada basically to one city away from us and in some cases uh, as far away as Phoenix, Arizona and you had to have a uh, computer number and you had to be registered with them and so on and so we kind of run into a real roadblock. That's when we started to think about a vehicle that we could use to uh, facilitate our sales to the wholesale and consequently we ended out forming what is now Sunfresh Farms Limited. We are buying our local grown produce through Sunfresh Farms. We've always bought Alberta product for the Alberta stores, we always have. We were being serviced from the southern growers, being Bassano and people out of Calgary. But we felt that Edmonton is where we are, this is our base for all our stores that was really important for us to support the Edmonton grower. They grow great product, so why shouldn't we have it in our Edmonton stores? Having a central distributor for many small family farms helps overcome the challenge of the relatively small supplies. Supporting local is very important to us as a, as a company. It's one of our corporate philosophies. So with the help of Sunfresh, we're able to put together a group of growers that now we can buy cabbage from two or three growers Hence, the, the product now becomes more available, the service level gets higher, quality is there where we want it to be, and we have, again, one local organization supplying the stores with everybody, all the growers feeding that organization. It is a two-way street. We benefit and they benefit, and that's really what the aim of this whole business was. We don't have to haul the produce 2,000 miles to get it to market, and, and the wholesaler likes the fact that it's nice and fresh and it's good quality. Our customers love it. The customer wants to buy local grown product. Uh, that, that's shown every day when, when they ask the questions, where was it grown? And we felt that it would just help give back to the community what the community gives to us. The boreal forest is an important source of food for some Albertans. It's a source of raw materials for industry, but it also plays a critical role in the global ecology. Over the next four weeks, we will be meeting Albertans who are finding innovative ways of preserving forests for the future. But for now, we'll leave the last word on eating local to Clarence Visser, a farmer who spent the last 50 years growing food for the people of Edmonton. This land here is in a special area where there is a mini climate type of thing. We have more frost-free days than most anywhere. And we are right next to the river. We have nice sandy soil on the higher land. In the flats below, this little heavier land for coal crops and things that our sun produces. And this land is perfect for vegetables, potatoes, and all that type of product. Clarence placed a restrictive covenant on this special land to ensure it will always be available to grow food for Albertans. Human beings were created in the image of God to be caretakers of this earth and not to get the best and most profit out of it. 
in today's world, it isn't as simple as what it sounds. It is complicated. But the given is that we are stewards, caretakers, not owners.